All right, guys, we've just got the bass here. Keith caught the other day in the, when we went kayaking. So I've decided that shows how I make chili bass. It's just a made up recipe that I made last time I did it. So here we go. The way I filled it, I run my knife along the spine and then down, and then I work my way over the ribs. Try to leave your tail attached. And the reason we leave the tail attached is because it makes it easier to start the skinning process. As the fish holds your fillet there, so you're not struggling to hold on to nothing. There's your skin. Now they don't have much meat to the belly bass, so I like to cut that bit off. Keep it for my cat. And there's a nice fillet. And basically repeat the process on the other side. All right, we've got our fillets ready to go. Our flour, our egg, our breadcrumb. We're gonna do them in that order too. We're gonna add some shit to our breadcrumbs first. The pepper. Some salt. Didn't add this last time, but we're gonna give it a go. A bit of, a bit of curry powder. And of course, the main ingredient, chili. The chili powder. For the fish to start with, just give them both a little douse of soy sauce. Sometimes freshwater fish can maintain a bit of a muddy taste and we don't want to taste that. Oh, that'll be enough for both of them. We'll drain the rest of that all. Alright, so a dash of soy sauce. Um, chili. Like I said, it's the main ingredient to this one. And we're gonna go with some crushed garlic, because crushed garlic's pretty much good on anything. Now rub that in. I'm not too concerned about covering both sides, because we're gonna breadcrumb it and the chilies and the breadcrumb. All right, so now we're gonna go flour, egg, breadcrumb first. I need to mix that breadcrumb first. Flour. Cover it. Egg. And crumb. And once you've got it crumbed, throw it on a clean plate, go for the second one. Now that she's crumbed, looks pretty good, ready to go. I'm a bit unprepared, but you gotta get the pan and the oil up to heat. We're gonna go just cover the base of your pan with oil and shallow pan fry them. And we're just gonna have ours with rice because there's enough flavor in the fish that you're gonna, it's gonna add enough flavor to your rice. All right, oil's hot, time for the fish to go on. Keep that extra shit on. Might as well. Alright, there we have it guys. Chili bass and rice. Turned out pretty good by the looks of it. We'll give it a go. Mmm, fucking. Still very hot with the pan, but tasty. Very good. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the catch and cook. Yeah, till next time. Have a good one.